Da -ba -da -ba. What is the good word, guys? Matt McCoy, country song teacher. I hope you're doing well. What is the secret to strumming the guitar? Now, I'll first tell you this. If you want to get better guitar, it's not about just knowing more and more chords. If I know a 10, 10 chords, I'm here. If I know 20 chords, and I'm just going to learn more and more and more chords. Once you learn a basic 5, 10, 15 chords, you can play every song you can think of, truthfully. So the secret to really get ahead is going to be strumming. So what is the secret to strumming? Remember this, music is about rhythm. It's about a rhythm and a flow and a timing to each song. So if when you take guitar lessons, whether you take them from me, whether you take them from someone else, always remember that. You're trying to keep the rhythm and the flow when you play the acoustic guitar. Now again, if you're playing a, <coughs> excuse me, electric, you can do all this fancy lead stuff and all these individual notes and crazy stuff, but maybe you're just like me, you wanna learn basic chords to play your favorite country, praise and worship songs, whatever. So it comes down to strumming. I always say make sure your strumming is evolving. What do I mean by that? You say, what are the chords? What are the order of the chords? What are the timing of the chords? It's the three things you're gonna work on always. When you learn a new song, Rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Hey, hey, mama, rock me. So if you're a beginner and you're just starting out, that's what you wanna do. You wanna just do down strums. You wanna know how many strings am I gonna strum with each chord. So for example, a G, you're strumming all six, just going down. On a D, the bottom four. E minor, all six. You get that C, the bottom five. So that's super important to know how many strings am I even gonna press. But beyond that, how long am I gonna stay on each chord? Because you're, you're thinking you're gonna be thinking of two tracks while you play. One, how long do I stay on this chord? What do I want to do with my right hand while I'm on this chord? I've got this long that I'm going to stay on there. So what am I going to do with that strumming in that short period of time to have me play in the chords, but also prepare to go to the next chord? Rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Hey. So, you see right there, I was doing a palm mute. So just, just fast. So I'm, I'm still listening for that timing and I'm keeping the symmetry and the timing right for each chord. I see so many people getting taught strumming patterns. If you're new to my lessons, I talk about this a lot. If you watched them, you, you see me, you hear this over and over. Strumming patterns, down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, 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 down, up. Down, 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 up, up, down, up. It's going to mess you so so far up, and you'll have no rhythm, no flow. And it's again, it's just like a dance, like a waltz. You're just boom, a chuk, a boom, a chuk, a you're just keeping it. You, even though you're playing acoustic guitar, it's kind of like your right hand's a drum. You're keeping that steady flow, a steady rhythm. I noticed there the timing even though I was doing pluck down a down up pluck pluck down a down up the, the down ups were they were a totally different time the little at the end up down down up up down they were totally a different timing and a flow than the initial so see that so the first drum that you had that kind of a steady bump a Kind of a bass drum down, and then. So if I just told you pluck down, up, down, up, that's going to mess you up. It's what's the timing of that? So I'm kind of doing two different strumming things within the same chord. Notice how it's kind of so. So top two or three, then all the strum, then then. Up, down, up on the bottom three strings. It's 
Notice what I did there even? Like sometimes you're building up a chord, so. Right there, so you get the kind of a build up. So you might have a steady, the first three chords steady, and then build up, build up, build up, build up, build up then go to the next chord. But the secret to strumming is thinking about the timing. I've got a strumming course. If you, if you, if you, if it's over 90 minutes long, just on this topic. Because if you want to get better at guitar, you want to get better at strumming. So you want to think about what's the timing. And if you're a beginner and you struggle with strumming, that's totally normal. Like I said, I've been playing 20 years or whatever. You're, you're going to get it. You're going to get better. But I want you to think in the right way. If you're at least thinking the right way, and you're not focused on down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down. If you start thinking down, up, down, up, down, ups. You throw it off your rhythm and you will get mixed up. So I just could jump on in real fast and give you this quick little update. Strumming's about timing, it's about a flow. You can kind of build up, you can do a, a, a quieter sound. See, sometimes I wasn't even doing any strumming. that you're still keeping that rhythm in the steady flow of the song. So this is going to resonate with somebody. Every time I do a video like this, I try to do one every few months. It just I'm just picking people off and saying, oh, Matt, that makes sense. Now it's starting to click. So when you play in the future, you're like, I, I'm starting to get it. It starts to make sense. If you want to get the strumming course or something, one of my song books, go to countrysongteacher.com. You'll see them all on there. They're all digital downloads, to instant for life. Sync to as many devices as you want. So hopefully they're a blessing to you. I love you guys. Please subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you tomorrow for another new video. Let's go.